Let's take a look at the FileMaker Pro 19.1.3 update. Welcome to Productive Computing. I'm Paul Fisher. This update introduces one new feature and addresses three issues. The one new feature in this update affects calling scripts from a URL. We now have a parameter to set the option for when the script runs. It's a value of 0 through 5. And these are the same values as the FileMaker perform script with option JavaScript function. And we discussed that in the video about the 19.1.2 update. I'll include a link in the description that'll take you to that portion of the video as well. If you do not provide this parameter, it will default to 0. However, earlier versions will not recognize it, so if you are using this functionality, it's recommended you update all of your clients. This does add one more feature to our list of features not compatible with previous versions. Also, if you'd like to go more in depth, I'll provide a link to this opening files with a URL help document. This version also addresses an issue where FileMaker could not connect to a FileMaker cloud for AWS host. It addresses an issue that would cause FileMaker to unexpectedly close when trying to make a database design report under certain circumstances. It also addresses the issue where choosing a require password change on next sign-in could cause the change password dialog box not to close when you clicked a button. Remember, you can always update from the help menu by choosing check for updates, as well as going to the update release page and downloading the updater directly. If you want an update when we put out an update on an update, you can subscribe to the channel. Also, a like is a great way to let us know you find this useful. Any links that I mentioned, I'll put in the description of the video. And if anything needs clarified, I'll put it in the comments. Thanks a lot for joining us.